back up coming. So uh, the driver admitted drinking glasses of wine. Uh, so that's giving them permission. They're going to go sobriety test here in a minute. Nice job. Oh, it is up. Fifty three check. Yep, here it comes. Again, I did hear the driver admit drinking glasses of wine, so broke another mirror. Mr. Right here, you want to give a little out of the roadway? Want to impede traffic in any way. This is a public sign, so there's no issue with us being here. Public stops in the sign bag. Yeah, telephone poles, mm -hmm. signs. Uh, this bit of grass is actually uh, 12 feet from the, or 15 feet from the center of the road, is actually a, a public easement. Thanks for watching, Mike Shepard. What is a 53 check is a uh, um, uh, OUI investigation check. Uh, the driver uh, admitted glasses of wine. I'll be out with one right outside Bolo's, one 1043 individual. Yeah. Intoxicated individual in front of uh, Bolo's. Yeah, things are heating up. Is that working okay? It's holding yeah. it steady. You know how to, can you zoom in on that? I don't, I don't know the setup. No? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. With the stand, you can adjust the picture without. Yeah. yeah. And it'll handle it because it's on a stand. If you're holding it in your hands, you'd be shaking it. Right. You couldn't see anything good. He's, he's, he looks like he's doing pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't look like he's intoxicated. Walks the road. 
can't stand it, but gives them on. Like the one, I can't do it very good either. Right. Because of sciatic back pain. Clubfoot, bad knees. I'm all done. This is the nostrum eye gaze test. Um, uh, if you've ever had any kind of head injury, uh, you can't pass this one. This is an intoxicated individual at Bolos. 9706, young Robert. 9706, YR. So we ran somebody who came to help or assist. Yeah, a little Fourth Amendment violation there. No big deal. It's kind of weird. Cold hands. Giving them every opportunity. I don't know if he's got mouth problems. But you see a little bit of jerking that's going on there, maybe. Not so steady. Oh, you got the camera, Karen? Oh, she's asking, uh, I think that's Bettered. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Bettered, Vanelli, and the other guy all look pretty much the same. That should be on a black BMW to a Christine Briggs out of Stockton, date of birth in 1967. Christine Briggs, I might know her a little bit. for my people. Uh, per NS, you just have one per OUI in 2018. And multiple convictions. Second guy over here. 
Brunswick, open door, 76 Main Street. Making entry. Open door, 76 Main Street. So you kick the door in again. Main Street, next one, uh, halfway down Main Street somewhere. Kentucky, Brunswick. It's an alarm. Okay, this is going to be telling. This will show it. Thanks for coming on, Hannah. Uh, this uh, sobriety test, uh, the driver said it admitted uh, drinking wine. So uh, they have every right to do sobriety tests. Three seconds. One thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. John Hawk. Thanks for watching.
see a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm going to do a search of the vehicle to gather evidence. I'm going to show you the search. Uh, my other camera is covering uh, putting him in the police car. They've been very respectful. Like I said, uh, they had every bit of probable cause driving. Are they taking the Atlantic Coast Savannah? Atlantic Coast is coming. All right, there's a bunch of other stuff going on. Uh, once they get him in the car and drive off, we'll pack it up. So generally, these, these, at least one of these officers will be busy for quite a bit with a OUI, at least an hour. Okay, do the search. I didn't see him gather any uh, evidence, huh? No. That's good. So he wasn't stupid enough to bring a bottle of wine in the car or anything. Yeah. 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 He shouldn't have been yeah. drinking. Yeah. I mean, he was three seconds into the one-legged stand and then eight seconds or ten. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless he's got problems with his back, he should have done a little better, I would think. No, there was big gaps in this. He didn't click them together or anything. Um, that being said, his, his foot did look a little not straight. But I, I don't think that was enough to fail a test. So that looked like a good one. They're doing the job. Be right back. <laughs> What's that? Um, yes, uh, that, that, that's a good way to put it. Uh, I always worry because I've been here for three years and when they came in and redid the tar, I'm like, are they going to take away my lawn? <laughs> right. Is this for no. the widening of the road? No, oh no, about? we're just showing the police. <laughs> oh, okay. That was an OUI and they just arrested that guy. He failed, oh, yeah. failed sobriety yeah. test. So it's interesting that you say that because I just stepped out of my... 19 with one, four, eight point seven, four, eight point seven. And um, I noticed they were being pulled over. I see people pulled over, obviously, living here. Yeah. quite often. And I've had invites in the last few weeks for a couple different Facebook groups talking about the police being road pirates and not being... That's me. Public. So You're I on my page somewhere. So I literally <laughs> came out here. Right. I don't on. have a card on me. If you want my stuff, and, uh, I'll tell you. Well, no, this officer actually came over and he asked me, he said, do you know this man? And I said, <laughs> no, I just live here. I'd like to know what's going on. 
Yep. And uh, I have to say that I sat here and watched the entire thing, and I didn't see anything right. that I thought was yeah, overstepping or pushing the back through the OUI uh, like, No, nope. they did a good job. The entire right. altercation yeah. because I was concerned about whether or not that man was being treated. Yeah, and, and, and you have every right to, to uh, film it anytime. I didn't film it. I just was curious right. to see what was going on. And literally, right. like I said, I've had some invites. I grew up in this town. Obviously, the whole dynamic of how the police operate has changed over the years. I mean, when I was younger, on it. my dad on it. would be drinking and driving, and they'd make him park his car and keep like, walk home. And when I was young and underage, we would go down on the tracks and drink, and they would just tell you to go home. They wouldn't do anything. Right. So right. a lot has changed. But I have to say that the stuff I've seen on Facebook lately is what made me literally step outside um, my house right now to witness um, what was Yeah, happening. did you see uh, Courtney's video? I don't Michelle know Smith? if I've seen any particular did you see the video. Michelle? I just um, don't yeah. want to see anything. That's police violence all on camera. Right, but I don't want to see any one group of anything be demonized over oh, one yeah. person's actions. Right. Oh, indeed. So if there, there are, are there are cops, really good officers on the floor. Absolutely. So Very if there good. are ones that are not, then we need to root right. them out and do something about yeah, there's it. Yeah, I'm out here talking to you. I went the to most the, are, I went to Motor Movie tonight, and, uh, and now I have on my plaid with my camo, <laughs> but I want you to know that the upper half is part of my outfit right. and the bottom half is... <laughs> yeah, we're locked. You're we're, not filming me, are you? Because I don't give you the right to, like publish anything with me anymore. really is Just there something know. wrong with public filming i'm um, actually on the public easement i feel like you're literally standing in my yard because you're not on the pavement you're in my yard and i don't give you permission all right to... i'll step back to public land okay i was having a great conversation uh, sorry yeah you're live on facebook right now i wasn't trying to be <laughs> There's, there's absolutely if nothing. You guys say thing and get things against them, and I don't see anything bad happening. No, they, they did a really they good job at this one. I told, them, I told the other one that. I literally, it's such an irony that this is even happening right now. I stepped outside of my yard, even though I didn't know that guy, yeah. to see what you guys were doing, to yeah. see how I felt about it, yeah. whether I thought you were overstepping your jurisdiction or in any way being disrespectful to the public. Yeah. No, they were really I good. see that. These gentlemen just came across into my yard yeah. and are filming me and asking me. And I said, listen, I've seen things on Facebook saying shit about runs with cops and I want to see for myself. And I didn't see anything that I felt was bad. And then I just said to him, you're on my property. Yes. So I don't want you to be releasing anything. Like, yeah. I was at the motor booty. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. Like, I don't want to be filmed and put on. So right, he so just stepped across property. my yard. And I'm like, so oh, I'm not. Now I'm in the road. Are you going to ticket me for uh, yeah. jaywalking? No, I'm just asking you. I'm just saying I don't want to be on film. You see what you did? Okay. Now now I got threats of violence no, from an officer. Like threats of violence. I feel like yeah. 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 I got better get out of here before I get a ticket from people. Yeah. Bye. Calling men with guns because I got a camera. Camera of accountability. <laughs> That's the camera, Karen, right there. You just met your first one. <laughs> I'm only leaving because I'm bored. <laughs>